testing out your pump. So for example, here we have a D5 pump. Now this is important because what if you've assembled all of your looping, you did all of your looping and just to later found out, find out that this pump or your pump is dead or isn't working. Now this, what you need here is of course the pump. If you do have the pump rest comma, then that's fine. Now we have here a rest, the reservoir and some soft tubing. If you don't have soft tubing, then it's still fine. So what I have here are barbs tubing, okay? So just to make it a little bit easier and also you will need a power supply to run the pump. Okay, so let me get just get this fixed up and come back to you. Now that everything is nice and snug, the next step is to fill up the reservoir. So what you need to do is you need to watch out for spills or leaks. And if you don't have something like this to fill her up, then you can improvise like create something out of a water bottle and put a straw on top or you can even use the ketchup dispensers that you can find on local diners if you have those so be weary of leaks by the way as of now we're just using tap water so if you have distilled water then that's fine however you would need to flush out all the fluids all the water after you do your test and after this one, okay, so as you can see, there's no leaks as of the moment. After this one, we need to elevate the reservoir so that it keeps on feeding water to our pump. Okay, so I'm just going to get this Tupperware over here. And then I'm going to put this up here. Okay, so luckily we are not leaking as of the moment. After this, we will need to supply power to our pump in order to make it run so we need this pin and connect it to a four pin such as this one that is coming from the power supply as you can see okay so four pin molex plug it in like that after you have plugged in the power source of your pump you will need to do a jumper on your power supply. So in this case, for example, this is the 24 pin of the power supply that we have. We have a paper clip jammed on the one, two, three, four, and five, as you can see here. One, two, three, four, and five. There's a paper clip, clip jammed in between them so that we can jumper it and simulate a turning on of the system. So after we did this jumper, be careful guys. Make sure that the power supply isn't plugged in while doing this. Let's set that aside. We would need to turn on the power supply. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug this here. And we will turn on the power supply to simulate a flow of the pump, okay? So for example, I have this much water here, almost half. We'll turn it on. Oops, my power outlet isn't turned on. <laughs> so it's plugged in. We can simulate A. Okay, so it's flowing right now. So the pump is working. However, there are some leaks as you can see on the pump top. But this pump is working fine as you can see. So the thing that you need to know here is the reservoir should be elevated from the pump so i think that's it for this video as you can see it's working fine there's just a small leak in this area but it's not really doing it's not leaking right now i don't know why okay so that's it for this video guys like if you like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and yeah tell us in the comments below if you want to plan or see other videos such as this one and see you on the next video. Take care guys.